Hey, what is up? Citizen Meta One here, and today I'm gonna talk about some of the small changes I have made to my MetaHuman VTuber rig. So, number one is that if you look at my hands, when I turn my head now, my hands are generally following the orientation of my head and my body. So that is a little bit different than before. Uh, before, the solver looked a little bit like this as I lock my hands. My hands would kind of just stay in place like that, and it didn't look very natural. So I'm taking back hand control now. And so, yeah, the hands are following the body. The second thing that I've updated is that my hips are actually now following my head as well. So if you look at my hips, they are slightly twisting to match the head and the chest. And then even more subtle is that when I look up and down like this, my hips will actually move up and down as well. And so this all in combination is to make a medium shot like this, or normally even closer, just a little bit more lively, have a little bit of secondary animation with hand tracking and face tracking. Uh, but really we're deriving almost all of the body animation just from the head alone. So that's one of the smaller updates. I'm gonna go a little bit wider now, uh, all the way into a full body shot, something like this. And what I want to show now is that while I'm doing all of this, this is my upper body solver, I can actually lower my body like this. I can lower my hips and still do this lower body solve that we're starting to add into it now. So you'll see that with even my legs crouched like this, that my upper body will twist, my hands will follow, and I still have tracking, and even my hips again are rotating like that. So this can go really far all the way down to here and even further and start to break. And I am going to change my camera angle now. Hold on. Let's scoot to something, uh, something a little bit more three quarter, maybe from here, maybe a little bit wider. And I'm going to then bring up my hips a little bit higher like this. And the fun part and the potential of this soul solver and the system is that I can start to add procedural lower body animation and the upper body solver will still work with it and still look pretty realistic and add a little bit of live control and a little bit of live influence over procedural lower body, which could be just like a static sitting pose. It could be like when I'm on my motorcycle or dancing or even walking, which we can do uh, in the future. So I'm gonna switch to another dance like this. And uh, as I'm dancing, I can raise and lower my body like this and still be able to be live. I'm gonna pull out a little bit wider like this so I can show the full range. Oh, that was my camera freaking out for a second. Uh, maybe till about here we'll cover it. So I'm dancing like this, right, with my, with my uh, pelvis or my hips at this level. And then I can slowly raise them up, still smoothly raising them up until like my legs are basically locking like this. Uh, and come back down to something like here. And then when you go really, really low, like too low, possibly for this solver, you'll see that my hips, or my knees rather, are going like kinda, kinda crazy there. So I am gonna come back up here, and that's pretty much uh, most of the changes I've made. Let's chill out this, uh, this dance. Can I get it back? Oh, that's, that's something else. That is something else right there. Well, uh, let's move the camera back to uh, three quarter. Something like here, maybe a little bit higher, like that, and go to the side to side dance, like this. So that wraps it up for this update. Again, the hands are following the chest and the head, and the hips are also now doing a little bit more secondary animation based on the head as well. On top of that, we can kind of globally change the height of my hips to make me sit down, squat, whatever we want to do. And of course, I can add some procedural idle animation that looks like dancing or walking, or one that's even more subtle that we'll probably do later that looks like you're just standing there and breathing. So that's the update for the MetaHuman VTuber Solver. It's coming along pretty well. I'm probably at the point where I'm gonna add back hand props to the hand so I can spawn different things into my hands. Maybe add back the physics system, though the way I have it calibrated, it actually looks pretty good, uh, except for it, it slipped through there. And uh, progress on this is going pretty well, and I uh, hope you enjoy this update. I'll see you on the next video.